Depending on where you live, the sun will be completely blocked by the moon for several minutes on April 8th. Solar panels are driven by light coming from the sun, and if the moon gets in the way of that light getting to Earth, then we'll, you know, be, we won't be able to make as much electricity. In fact, this will be the first major eclipse since solar power became a major player on the Texas grid. Yeah, you know, we've never had this situation before. At an ERCOT meeting earlier this month, officials said solar generation will be impacted between about 12.10 and 3.10 p.m. The maximum impact will be around 1.40, when ERCOT projects solar generation will be reduced to just 7.6 percent of its maximum output. We can get by without it. Energy experts I spoke to say that shouldn't be a problem. We're not talking about any kind of big supply demand issue or imbalance. What we're talking about is a four and a half minute nighttime. In a statement, ERCOT says it is working on forecasting models to reflect reduced solar production and does not expect any grid reliability concerns during the eclipse. I don't really expect there to be, you know, a massive disruption in electricity supply or any, you know, real problems on the grid because we've got plenty of other power plants that should be available. This is the perfect time of year to have this happen. It's not in the heat of the summer in August or September, and it's certainly not in the dead of winter when it's really cold. So if this was happening, like you said, in the heat of the summer or in the dead of winter, it might be kind of a different situation. That's right. It, it could be a real serious situation. ERCOT will be making preps for the eclipse over the next 10 days to ensure the only light that goes out is the one in the sky. I don't think people should be really concerned about the grid during this eclipse. I'd say, you know, as many people as possible should be out there enjoying the eclipse itself.